I got my rod and my bait. I'm headed down to the lake. Let's go catfishing with slinging baits. We slinging them baits down by the lake. I hope I catch a big old catfish today. Let's go catfishing with Cecil today. Yes, sir. <laughs>
show y'all how I'm gonna hook them. We're gonna put this bait out there first. Grab my rod here. Ugh. See that wind blowing. All right, just behind this top fin, I'm gonna put this hook in there. Just like that. See where that hook is? That's where we're gonna put that hook. All right, man, let's go on and get this shiner out there. We ain't gonna waste no time today. Put some baits out there. Let me check my drag. Ah, that's fine. Let me check my reel brakes. Tighten those up just a little bit. Yeah, that works. Let me just loosen it up just a little bit. Oh, that's good. Yeah, man, I'm gonna put this one right off these rocks right out here in front of this tree. This a few feet, maybe 10, 15 feet off the bank around these rocks. If someone want to pick up that shiner, I mean, we put him right off the rock. We ain't, we ain't really got to do too much with these. Tighten that line up. Put a bell on there while we get these other rods out there. Just in case someone want to smack him while we ain't paying attention. Maybe a catfish or something want to pick him up. But yeah, man. Let's get some cut bait out there. Just some of this cut bait out there for them catfish. Yes, sir. Woo, it's windy. I ain't lying, y'all. Uh, let me grab this rod. Man, it's so windy today. Hopefully, we can put something on the bank. All right, y'all. On my next two rod setups, all we got is high-low rigs. Yes, sir. If you want to learn how to tie this rig, make sure you check out my catfish rigs video on the Catfish Conference YouTube channel. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, we got 20-pound main line. We got a barrel swivel. We use a 30-pound mono leader. We got one dropper loop. We using a mustache four out five out hooks today some smaller hooks yeah we downsizing the hooks a little bit because i've been missing some fish so maybe this will help but yeah man we got a two ounce sinker at the bottom double hook rigs that's my favorite rig to use during the winter time but yeah man let's go ahead and slap some bait on here start with this bottom hook I usually like to put a piece of shad, a shad head on the bottom hook. Something like that. Got a head piece on there. And then on this top hook, I'll just take a piece of that body section and put it on there. Something like that. She ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright. Down here we got another high low rig. Same setup. I'm gonna grab some more bait. Slapping on here. Like that. I heard a noise. Thought I heard a bell going off here already. Got a 
piece of body section on there. Head piece at the bottom. Yes, sir. We got that cut bay ready. Let me wash my hands real quick. Clean my hands off. Let's go swing some baits. I'll put some of this cut bait out there. Yes, sir. All right, man. We're just gonna put this one probably straight out and then we're gonna put that other one out this way. Boom! Oh, it's pretty deep right there. I ain't never fished this spot before. Tight lines. Throw a bell on there. Got a line tight. Alright, let's get this other cut bait out there. real deep out there yes sir hopefully that wind calmed down just a little bit for a while today so I can see my rod tips put this bell on there got my bells I mean just in case I decide to take a nap or something nice out here today especially for a winter day it's supposed to be like 64 today perfect let me check the lines yeah. this ain't looking good alright alright man we got them base set Y'all stick around, man. We're going to do some catfishing. See if we can put something on the bank today. Yes, sir. This one keep getting here too. Uh oh. Where's that? Something hit my minnow. I got some fish moving too. All right, y'all, I drove around the lake. We came back over to the other side of the lake so I can get this strong wind on my back. It's too much blowing in my face, so switch it up for this last spot. I have fished this point before. Matter of fact, I think in my last video. So yeah, man, we gonna give this spot a try. So yeah, man, I'm gonna get set up. I'll see y'all in a second. All right, y'all. Back in, set up in this new spot. Let's go and get us a minnow. Yeah, one of them little minnows here. Got us a minnow here. Let's go and toss a minnow on this three-way we got. Let 
Yes, sir. Look, you know, we're going to hook them right behind this little fin, top fin. Something like that. Got a minnow on there. Go ahead and put this minnow out there. He's gonna put him out here, right in front of this rock pile off this jetty. Boom. Perfect. Right off these rocks. Put a bell on here. Okay, so I'm gonna chomp down on that. Sweet. All right. Got that minnow chilling. Hopefully, someone will pick that up. Let's go ahead and slap some bait on this. I love rig. Uh, a couple head pieces. We're gonna double. Put double head pieces on here. I'm gonna hook them like this. Just like that. Just hook this one like that. Same way. Something like that. Bam! She ready. Yeah, man, I'm gonna... Let that minnow chill out there for 20, 30 minutes. If they don't get hit, I'll bring it back in and put another minnow on there. Another one of them shiners. All right, same thing down here. Let's go with double head pieces. Take some of the shad, put it up here. Just like that. Grab that bottom hook. like that bam she ready just like that we bait it up yeah i think this is my last spot today hopefully we catch some fish where my rag go it's real windy real windy today i put on some three ounce weights too it's so windy all right, man, let's get this cut bait out there. See if there's some catfish around here hanging out. See if they want to chomp down on some of this cut bait. Yes, sir. Sir, bombing baits. Get a bell on there. Sweet. All right, let's get this cut bait out there. Hello, Rick. Boom. Man, this is a lot better over here. Not so much wind right in my face. Yes, sir. We got them baits set, y'all. Y'all kick back. We're going to see if we can put something on the bank today. Hopefully, man. I'll stick around. Yes, sir.
That was quick. That was like almost five minutes. That wind is dying down a little bit. Oh, that's a good thing. Those sucker try to run off with that. That was a much better hit though with them smaller. I downsized my hooks this time. Yeah, if I start getting more bites this way, I'm gonna put this minnow over here on this other side of this rod. We just gonna experiment. I still got a few hours to fish, so we gonna stick it out today. Try to put something on the bank. That was a good hit right there, though. See if we come back for it. Yes, sir. We uh, hooked up. Uh, nice. Uh, on to the top. It's pretty far out there, too. Got one on the bank, y'all. Oh man, he ain't bad either. It's a decent one. Ugh. Get that bell off the ground so I don't step on it. Bring this around here. Yes, sir. right here get my camera turned up here so I can see myself Ugh. yes sir y'all we got one nice. nice size it's probably about a five pound or something get the stuff out the net Ugh. that y'all look how fat he is mm. talking about fat he just barely hooked too right here. that's a nice catfish nice size one too look at that just barely right in that corner Check that out, child. One of the wintertime cats. Look how fat he is. One of the fat ones. Man, he hit that hard. I think he might be the one that hit that, uh, this first rod a while ago. It's a nice one. He feel like he about five, six pounds. Nice one. Got a catfish on the bank. Yes, sir. We catfishing now. Got that skunk off the bank. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna complain with this one. Let's go and get him back. Down on this rock here. There we go. Uh, all right, dog. I'm gonna get out of here. Wrong way. All right, he headed back out. Alright man, he out. Oh, that was a uh, shiner going. Thought something wanted to tear that shiner up. Sweet. We on the board. Yes, sir. 
Nice catch. Alrighty. Nice. Not bad. Let's get some more bait on here. Get it back up, get it back out there. Man. Let me get out the way so y'all can see them rods. Oh, he bit that top hook. He went for that top bait. Let's grab us some more bait here. Put it on there. Another head piece, just like he did that first one. Just like the plenty hook tip exposed. Some more bait on there. Let's gonna get this one back out there. Might be some more catfish moving through. Boom! Yes, sir. We're bombing them baits. Wintertime catfishing. Yes, sir. Let's get this bell back on here. Jingo bells. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. We got that bait back set. Let's see if we can put something else on the bank before we get out of here today. There. I want something to hit that minnow. Take that minnow down. That'll be nice. Y'all stick around. We're going to do some more catfishing. Hope y'all having fun. All right, y'all. It's probably been about uh, 20, 30 minutes since this one got hit. Let's go ahead and check this one. Make sure we got some bait on here. Yes, sir. My man T. Jones had a question about setting up your uh, bait cast reel so they don't birds nest or backlash on you. Oh, yeah. We still got bait on here. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and address that right now. This for you, T. Jones. I'm going to show you how I uh, like to set up all my uh, bait cast reels. All right. What you want to do is... See my bait cast reel right, right here. This little thing. This little thing. And sometimes they have them on this side. This control your reel brakes. What you want to do is tighten this all the way down. As tight as you can get it. You don't want to tighten that down. Once you got that part set, you want to click down on your real engage it you see how that bait see how my bait is still there after I press here I'll show you after I press this you see how my bait it ain't moving now what you want to do is you want to slowly slowly release your uh, real brakes like this Just slowly release them until your bait and your rig and all that start slowly falling Just this enough where boom just like that see that now I'm slowly falling no bird's nest that's about how tight you want your brakes to be so you don't get no bird's nest sometimes i like to loosen it up just a little bit more just like that Every time your bait hit the ground, if you see your reel, it won't bird's nest. So yeah, that's how I like to set up my bait cast reels. I hope that helped you out, T. Jones. We still got some bait on here, so let's go ahead and get this back out there. I might put a little extra something up here on the top, just, just to up the ante a little bit. Let's go and throw some a little bit. Put some fresh bait on this top hook. You got a shad like that. 
Let's just go and put a fresh shad on here while we got it. Got it up here on the bank. But yeah, y'all, that's how I like to set up my bait cast reels. How I like to set up my brakes. So yeah. I rarely get back lashes or birds now, so yeah. Let's go and put this one back out there. Boom! Yes, sir. Slinging them baits. I got my rod and my bait. Yes, sir. Down to get the lake. This, uh, barrel back on here. Let's go catfishing That's with the slinging baits. We slinging them baits yes, down sir. by the lake. All right, man. Hope y'all learning something today. Y'all kick back. We're going to see if we can put some more catfish on the bank. Yes, sir. Y'all don't go nowhere. Keep it right here. Yes, sir. Let's up on another one. Get my net ready. I was just tying up another rig, getting ready to change this minnow. Another catfish. Ugh. Yes, sir. Got another one on the bank. This right here. Man. Yeah, I was getting ready to uh change my rig on my minnow. We ain't been getting no action. So I was gonna go ahead and change that up. But had a takedowns right while I was doing that behind the camera. Nice. This little cat, he a little bit smaller. I can't see my other hook. Oh, there we go. I'm like, oh, I hooked him behind the, uh, the thing there. Sweet, y'all see that takedown? He tried to run off with that. Nice little cat right there in the corner of the mouth. Circle hook did what it was supposed to do today. I don't know which hook that was he bit. Let me see. I'm always curious to see which hook they bit. Oh yeah, he bit that top hook. Hey, another little winter time cat. Yes, sir. He's smaller than that first one. This one probably about two, three pounds. Not bad though. Not bad. We catfishing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go and get him backed up. Get another bait out there before it get too dark. I gotta get out of here. Yes, sir. Another one of them wintertime catfish. They cold as heck, too. Yes, sir. All right, little dude. Oh, easy release. All right. Peace. Go get bigger. Go tell your bigger partners to come. Come see me right here on the bank. 
Yes, sir. Hey, not bad. We putting some catfish on the bank today, y'all. Ah, man, we ain't got no bites in about 30 minutes, y'all. Yep. I think I'm gonna probably head out of here. It's been a good day, though. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Just want to say appreciate y'all hanging out on the bank with me today, doing some catfishing. The first two spots we fished, they was a bust, but we did end up putting some catfish on the bank in this last spot, so. Yes, sir. Third charm's a charm. But yeah, man, just want to say thank y'all out there for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. But yeah, man, do me another favor and share this video if you could, please. But yeah, man, I'm about to get out of here. To the next one, Slinging Bass Nation. Peace. One more thing, y'all. Make sure you leave a rod out while you're packing up. Yes, sir. You never know, man. Another thing. Make sure y'all enter that giveaway this month. I'm giving away a slinging bass sticker decal pack. So if you want to win, make sure you follow the instructions on the flyer. Uh oh. Thought I was getting a bite. But yeah, man. Make sure y'all enter that contest if you want to win some cool free prizes. Yes, sir. Hmm. I got my rod and my bait. I'm headed down to the lake. Let's go catfishing with slinging bait.